Hi, I'm Blake from BA Electronics, and you may have seen my previous server right on this video here, but my server is no longer because it has been having a few stability issues. And I don't really want to try and fix that. I called Apple, they couldn't fix it. I called uh, FreeNAS people, they couldn't fix it. So I decided to just get something else. Now, I'm not going to be doing a server anymore. Instead, it's going to be kind of like a local NAS. Now, I bought the Mediasonic PRORAID HUR3 SU3S3. Now, that's a handful of letters, but it's a pretty cool little NAS box. Now, it supports built-in hardware RAID, RAID 0, RAID 1, JBOD, and you can just use your drives in single mode, which is what I'm using because I'm going to use Mac OS X's built-in software RAID 1. Now it only supports three and a half inch drives, but I have two two terabyte WD Blue 3.5 inch drives, which I'm going to use in this box. Now it supports eSATA and USB 3.0, but I'm not going to be using eSATA. Instead, I'm going to be using it through a USB 3.0 bus on my MacBook Pro. It supports a maximum size of eight terabytes per drive. It supports SATA 3 for very fast transfer speeds. It supports Windows and Mac formatted disks. It has a built-in fan in the back that changes its speed depending on the temperature of the internal drives. And this is a cool feature of this box. It has a feature called Power Sync. Now what this does is when you turn your computer off, it will also turn off the box so that you aren't wearing your drives or using energy when you're not using the device. So let's take a look at it and see if it's any good, see if I'm going to keep it or not. Oh, he's gone. Okay. Yep, there it is. There it is. Yep, there it is. Seems as heavy as the server thing is supposed to be. Lily. Hello. Wow, this thing is all metal. Power brick. The drive sleds. The USB 3.0 cable. I ordered a nice big USB 3.0 cable. Something else, uh, an eSATA cable, but I cannot, I cannot use eSATA. Then the uh, the actual enclosure itself. I heard that the instructions are in Chinese, so I'm not going to deal with those. This thing looks pretty awesome. It's completely metal. Wow. Ooh, yeah, suckers. How loud is it going to be? Surprisingly quiet. See all the iOS lit up power here? It's saying I'm connected over USB. It's running in single mode. The fan is on auto, but I can turn this switch here. That is the highest setting. Pushing quite a bit of air through. Okay, I got errors on the screen. Initialize, initialize. Two disks. This is the Archive HDD drive. Sorry for the lines on the screen. My shutter speed is being very weird. Let me try and fix that. Okay, we got two disks here. Jmicron disk zero, Jmicron disk one. So because I'm in single mode in this box, if we go to disk utility, it shows two disks here. Two two terabyte disks. So I'm going to format both of them Mac OS Extended Journaled with GUID partition map so I can possibly partition them in a little bit. I'm going to call this one Archive 1. The uh, drive indicator on the box is flashing red because it's formatting. And erase process is complete. Unlike the server where it kind of cut my space a little short. I get all two terabytes to use for whatever I want to. None of that like free BSD swap files or anything like that. I get all the storage. 
of all my drives that I paid for. It's kind of expensive. Two discs, Archive 1, Archive 2, in their appropriate slots. And now I'm going to set it up as a RAID. So I'll go to RAID Assistant in Disk Utility. I'm using Mac OS X. I don't know how you can do this on a Windows PC because I hate Windows. So I'll go to Mirrored. Next, do these two drives here. They're both going to be RAID slices, so they're both going to be active drives here. Next, uh, my chunk size, I'm going to put it to the largest possible size because I'm using it for video and stuff like that. And then I'm going to call this Archive HDD. We can rename it later, but Archive HDD. Create the RAID 1 set, Archive HDD. Now disk 2 and disk 3 will be mirrored, so that means all the data will be written to both disks at the same time. So in the event of a hardware failure, it will automatically rebuild this RAID 1 if you add a new drive to it. RAID is complete, took about a mm, minute and a half, so I'm going to select the target drive to be Archive HDD, stress, 5 gigs, start the speed test. It takes a little while to get up to speed, but it is getting up to speed. So, I'm getting peaks of around 125.2 megabytes per second, and a read speed peaks of about 145 megabytes per second. Wow, and the write speed is going faster for some reason. I'm probably not going to be using ProRes. I may use ProRes in the future, but I'm going to be using 1080p 30 ProRes. It can read and write to my disks at that resolution and that codec, so that's perfect. I'm going to open up my little storage space where my other drives are. I'm going to open up my backup drive called a Samsung HD 103 SI. You may remember that drive from this video up in the corner. Boom! That little card popping up. Click it. You want to see that video? I think it's pretty cool. It's very nerdy. So if you want to live the nerd life? Go and watch it. So I'm gonna drag everything from HD 103 SI over to Archive HDD. And I do see the lights flickering at the same time, so we know it's working. It's gonna take about four hours to complete this. So, in that four hours, I'm probably gonna get a B-roll of it. See ya.